The aspect ratio of a rectangle is 5 to 3. What's the aspect ratio of a rectangle? It's the ratio of its length to height. Okay, or you can think of it as width to height or however. And its perimeter is 6 inches. How long are the sides and what is its area? Now, this last question we can easily solve once we have the side lengths. Once you know the side lengths of a rectangle, all you do is multiply those to get the area. But the side lengths. Anytime you have this kind of a problem with rectangle and perimeter, then draw a rectangle to help you. Okay. Now, this is 5 to 3, so I should draw this longer than that. And the aspect ratio, I can mark it here by thinking of here being like 3 units. That side is 3 units versus this side is 5 units, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units, 3 units, right? Now, the perimeter all the way around is 6 inches. We know how much it is all the way around. Think of these little parts that I marked here, okay? Think how many there are all the way around. Five parts, three and five and three. A total of 16 parts, right? So 16 parts equals the perimeter six inches. This now lets us find how much is one of these parts. After that, we can easily then find out the whole side length, okay? If 16 parts is 6 inches, then how much is one part? That's like an equation there. We divide by 16, right? So I need to find out how much is 6 divided by 16. Right? Now, let me write this using the fraction line as my division symbol. And I have the answer. 6 sixteenths. That's how whole number division works, you know? This time, I can simplify this to 3 eighths. All right, three eighths of an inch. So are we done? You have to always check what is the problem asking. How long are the sides? Is this side of three eighths of an inch or that side? No, it's not because three eighths of an inch is just one of those little parts. See, we took the whole perimeter and divided by 16. So this is three eighths of an inch. How much is this side then? Now I need to multiply five times three eighths of an inch. 5 times 3 is 50, and then over 8. And that is 1 7 eighths of an inch. And the other is here is 3 times 3 eighths of an inch. So we get 9 eighths of an inch, which is 1 and 1 eighth of an inch. So those are the side lengths. Now we go to the area. The last thing it was asking was the area. I told you already that to find the area of a rectangle, you just multiply this times this. So we multiply those two mixed numbers. But to multiply mixed numbers, in order to use the shortcut for fraction multiplication, I need to have fractions, not mixed numbers. So let me just grab this and this instead. 15 eighths. And then times 9 eighths. So I can now use the shortcut instead of having to change them back to those. Okay, here, 8, 15, 9, I'm thinking if I can simplify. 15 is 3 times 5, but no, they are not divisible by the same numbers. There are no common factors here. So I just multiply 15 times 9 and 8 times 8. That's all there is left to do. 15 times 9, or 9 times 15. 9 times 10 is 90, 9 times 5, 45. So in total 135, and then 8 times 8, 64. And now this is square then just this needs to go into a mixed number. And we are all done. 64 plus 64. 64 times 2 would be 128. So there's 2 here. And then 128, 135. The difference is 7. Okay. That's the area. And we are all done with our problem solving. I hope you had fun.